Today I'll be walking through how I designed the search feature from start to finish for a productivity app called Ellie that I use daily. Ellie already has this functionality on web, but the mobile experience was missing a search feature, so we wanted to create a consistent cross-platform experience. My boyfriend is the creator and developer for Ellie, so I was easily able to collaborate. First step was research. I used Mobin to study how other productivity apps handle search UX. This tool is amazing for finding UI patterns and understanding industry standards. This helps visualize possibilities before I start designing. Next, I mapped out the UX requirements. What can users search for? How do results get displayed? Or what information do they want to see? I tried several different UI variations that included filtering capabilities while keeping the same design style as the existing mobile app. I tried including shadows for the boxes, removing the shadows, removing the card altogether, and changing the background to white. We ultimately chose this option as it simplifies the UI and works well with the existing designs. Always make sure to design for empty states as well. These details, such as empty states and error states, really matter but can get overlooked. The initial designs included filter chips to narrow results by type, but after removing the subtask filtering due to backend limitations, having just two filter options didn't justify the UI space they consumed. I tried another design option of having the information hierarchy presented like this, but again, this did not seem very intuitive and clean enough to match the existing UI. I also initially added icons to indicate what type of content matched the search, such as notes or task title, but in practice, I found myself ignoring these, so they didn't really mean much. I removed them from the design, but it looked way too text-heavy on the screen. We replaced them with completion checkboxes. This maintains the visual balance by breaking up the text while adding functional value for users scanning incomplete tasks. I also removed some other indicators that weren't relevant to the search context, which reinforces an important principle. If something isn't adding to the experience, remove it to reduce cognitive load. We wanted to make sure it was clear that the text is highlighted, so we explored three approaches. Purple on purple, which is on brand, black on purple, which is more contrast, and having a yellow background, which is conventional and has the highest contrast. We ran a Twitter poll and the yellow highlight won. Even though purple matches the brand, yellow is what users associate with highlighting, making the results easier to scan. This is a really good example of usability winning over brand consistency. Here's the final transformation. We went from a complex UI heavy approach to a streamlined and clean experience that prioritizes usability while maintaining visual designs. And now this feature is live on the app. The most elegant solutions often look simple, but the simplicity comes from a lot of careful decision making. Always remember, great product design balances aesthetics with function. I hope you enjoyed watching the process and follow along for more.